We want to speak out on behalf of the people of Afghanistan, the community here, as well as those who are still uh, trapped in Afghanistan. Uh, we want to speak out and say, open the doors and let's be a welcoming country. God has placed in us uh, a real compassion for uh, those who are lost, those who are refugees, those who have been abandoned. Um, and because he has a heart for the lost, um, the more we align with, with him and his values and his will and his ways, uh, our hearts go for those who are lost too. And the refugee really does represent the person who's, who's got no home, no place to go. And so given that Jesus at one stage was a refugee, uh, we have a real uh, a heart, a compassion for people who have been left without homes and left in dangerous places. So that, that would be part of it. Uh, but really, just God has given us a very clear command to love our neighbours. And this is a, a significant way that we can do that. When the Taliban took control of Kabul, and that was in the media, Christians stepped forward very quickly, offering their homes, uh, accommodation, and networks within communities to help people from um, a war-ravaged state resettle in peace and in the prosperity that Australia has to offer, uh, as well as offering relationships so that they can find a place in Australian society, in, in community. And so really quickly that, that, that sentiment um, uh, rose up and uh, we're still, we still have that feeling. This confusion now about how do, we, how do we actually do that? Where are the people we can welcome and how do we, how do we get them into Australia? I would suggest writing to your local member and ask them what will they do in response to this, uh, this incredible need. Um, the other thing you might do is you might find out from uh, your church or um, organisations like Anglicare how you can be involved in being trained to help people who are new to the country. Many of our churches run uh, English language courses, classes for people who want to learn to speak the local language. Uh, you can do that. You can join up and help out there. Or if you'd uh, like to be more involved in the network of resettling people, we have a number of different groups that are doing that. You can get involved in those groups too.